through, of course, Little Rock back here. Just got done with the stretch. They've got Jacksonville State tip off in that one this Saturday at 1 p.m. in Jacksonville, Alabama. As Little Rock tries to get things going. Here's Walker. We talked about it. Kenny knocked down the triple. He's off the mark. Then a tonight. Yeah, he had to knock down a field goal. Made just one uh, one for, uh, free throw on the night. For the Here comes Speaker. Back out. You know, <laughs> you know he wants to get a drill. Instead, unfortunately, it's thrown away. Here comes Philander Smith up and lays it in. Nice job there by Kella. He's going to get a shot. You know he's going to take it. They're screaming at him to take the three ball instead. He'll dish back over to Speaker. And now Smith, he's going to go corner. I swear I thought he was going to dish it over in the corner. And said he such a more, such a more uh, all-around score this season. Here's the set up in the three ball. There it is. A little bit of an errant pass from Smith. But what a finish inside for Speaker. Dominate 82 to 48 over Philander Smith. So you talked about him pregame. He's been he's been good. He has. He has shot the ball well tonight. It's 12 points on five of nine shooting. The lefty strokes it from the corner there. He came into this one averaging almost 12 and a half points per game, shooting it well from the outside. See him doing it out there. Gets that left hand, which he definitely. He's been good. He's been really good. That's kind of a bright spot that Coach Day's squad can build off of as they head into their season. Amazing, intimate environment that's got a great view of downtown Little Rock, too. It's really for a reason. They play some really tough defense, as we mentioned. They really thrive in forcing turnovers and, and getting out in the open floor. They play a fun brand of basketball. They're going to win a lot of games this season. Well, you know who Little Rock wants this ball in the hands of as they try to figure it out and get it out of there and... 6'7", 210 for a, uh, for a freshman out of Memphis. He is a big, strong kid. Again, Little Rock will make their way to Jacksonville State on Saturday. Tip off on that one set for 1 o'clock. And then, would that be, I guess that'll be Governor Asa Hutchinson's last I-40 showdown. I believe it will. He believe it will, office, yeah. yeah. As he exits. Yeah. Governor Hutchinson. Bears here next week. Boy, Anthony Boone has done a great job of the UCA. Of course, an Arkansas native himself, and that's that's a few. But UCA has has won the last few in that rivalry. Just about 20 seconds differential between the game clock and the shot clock is Philander Smith able to get a steal, and we may get a little highlight from the Panthers. Instead, it's just a finger roll for Keller. Standout individual performances tonight that made it tough for Philander Smith. Just made uh, made enough shots to to come away with the victory. We'll see if Little Rock decides to get this shot up. And I, you can see clearly what <laughs> what Coach Walker was trying to do is get one of his guys a shot attempt at all, an opportunity to get in to score a point. It's pretty cool if he can knock it down. Oh and that one just rims out. Yeah, he's got a, a serious nosebleed going on. Coach Day and company kind of wonder what's going on. And I, I'm sure Coach Walker. Legit career has only played two minutes before tonight. Played a couple minutes versus Arkansas. It's yours. They drilled it. And the